Hi Earthlings, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elle and thank you so much for tuning in to Just Ironic. Today I want to do my first ever thrift haul. I've never done them so I'm really excited and hopefully you enjoy and if you do please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. So the first thing that I got was fabric. They were a dollar um, and they were just like in this random bin and they have been there for a while i went like three weeks ago and they were still there so i thought i might as well grab them um so this fabric is almost like a chiffon i love this green sort of like moss color as you can see from my jumper this is like the same sort of colors and then my nails are also <laughs> moss green as well um so yeah um it's a couple of yards I don't really know what I'll do with it yet, but I think I'll make a nice chiffon dress. I don't know, maybe I'll do like a tank top chiffon dress. Um, but my mom has a lot of like chiffon shirts, so I will probably will get one of her shirts and just elongate it a little bit so that it can become a dress. I'm trying to make more stuff on my own, so I think this is a good start, especially because it's like a dollar. And if I mess up, like, it's no big deal, so, yeah. Super excited about this, just a dollar. It was marked uh, three yards, and it's a 56 width fabric, so that was super convenient. And I just went to my local thrift store, so all this stuff is from my local thrift store. It's uh, St. Vincent, so all the funds actually goes to a Catholic church. I try to avoid, like, Goodwill and other thrift stores because not only do I have to drive farther but also it's more like a corporate based thrift store so I like supporting my local thrift store. So the second fabric that I got, initially I thought it was like a long fabric that was just like all one piece and I liked it because I saw that it had like really cool figurines um, like the Santa and then I had like this little lady right here and I thought I could do like a multicolored or multi-pattern dress. I've been seeing a lot of dresses that are handmade on Instagram and I really like this one. But yeah, it turns out that it's actually not one piece. Like it was actually cut up, but the way that they, they bundled it together, it seemed like it was just like one long piece. But when I opened it, I actually saw that it's just like little pieces like this. I really like the pattern though, so I probably will cut them up in little squares and then sew them um, together like the picture that I showed you but I don't know how I'll do the squares because these are a little bit bigger than square sizes like this one's huge so maybe I could do this one in the front hanging down on the front in the waist area so I don't really know maybe I'll do like a Christmas dress and wear it and do a video on that like making the dress and uh, cutting it up and seeing how it will fit together and this one costs two dollars which is not a lot and it comes with a lot more fabric like this like all just random pieces so it was a good find except I don't really know what this is for like if you guys know what this is for then please comment down below because I don't know why you would have random Santa figurines on a fabric maybe it's some sort of template five hours later Oh, that's what it's for. It's, it's like a low waist way of like celebrating Christmas by just sewing it on the sweaters you already have. That's so cool. I didn't know that. So I probably will do that for a couple of sweaters. And then I got some books. I always get a whole bunch of books from my local thrift stores. I'm a little bit addicted to buying books. So I always get like four or five every single time I go and they're super cheap. The local St. Vincent's thrift store, thrift store I go to actually sells the paperback books for 50 cents and then the hardcover books are one dollar. So they're super cheap so I can get like four books for two dollars and it'll last me for a couple of months because I usually take like two months to read a book. I used to be able to read one book in two days when I was younger but since I'm always getting distracted on social media I take a while but the first book that I'm going through right now is called Bedrock Faith it's by an African-American novelist called Eric Charles May he's a local Chicago writer actually and he's a professor in the Columbia College Chicago School so it's really cool to see that there's local authors in the thrift stores that I go to um, especially because I guess it's circulating around the area. But this story is centered around an ex-convict um, that moves back into his local Chicago neighborhood after he's 
in jail for a while so it's really interesting when I read that perspective especially within the Black Lives Matter so I can get a little bit more, under more understanding of the culture, the community and what it's like to get out of jail and then try to immerse yourself back into the community. So the next book I got is called Walden and Civil Obedience by Henry David Thoreau. I really like this book because it talks about economics and the way that we work and that's something that I'm very gravitated towards and this book originally cost six dollars in like Barnes and Nobles and it literally cost me 50 cents so if you ever want to like find uh, oh it's actually a classical Barnes and Nobles book if you can see right there in the corner you can check there and if you ever want to make some extra bucks you can always sell these books on eBay these usually retail you know for like three four dollars online so if you want to like make a small kind of profit um just buying them for 50 cents and then putting them online i think you could sell a lot of books like that because uh people do want to buy cheaper books online especially now that people don't want to go out so that's a good investment especially if they're like classics like this so the third book i got was called dragonfly in amber by diana Gebeldon. Um, I don't really know this author. I don't really know what this book is about. It's fiction. This one is so thick. I don't know if you guys like it when it's like thick and chunky, but I love thick and chunky books and that they have like small words. That's like my favorite thing. And to have it just be 50 cents, this would probably last me like a month or so, which I'm really excited about. And it originally cost $9. And then the fourth book is called Water for Elephants by Sarah Groon. This one is also nonfiction. It talks about like equestrian, equestrian pageantry. Um, and it's based actually in a Chicago speakeasy. So again, it's like a local book or a local or fictionally local <laughs> Chicago based book. But yeah, I'm really excited about this one. And then coincidentally, not right next to it was a book called When the Elephants Dance by Tess Urusera. So I guess the person that had these books really liked pink, uh, elephants, I mean. I like all, all sorts of books, so as long as the back cover and the pages seem to get my attention, then I'm pretty fine with it. If you guys want a video on how to buy vintage books in thrift stores, I would love to do a video about that. So please comment down any thoughts or ideas for that video probably will be doing it soon especially because I'm doing more videos and then that's the last book and then finally I got a shirt which is this shirt it cost me um six dollars it's pretty expensive for a shirt I usually just buy like um two or three dollar shirts none of my clothing is more than ten dollars actually and I really loved how it had this like hippie, almost like Indian um, print on it. And then I really like the sleeves with the same sort of like pattern like this. And I like how it's kind of like flared out. So it gives more space, gives more space for my wrist. Sorry about my stuttering. And then I like, I always like this like uh, drawstring feature in the front. I think it makes it a little bit more relaxed. This is amazing quality for six dollars. It has no stains. It's a really vibrant color. And yeah, it's a size small. The brand is Donna Butchman. And that's the good thing about thrifted clothing. You can always just resell it on Poshmark or eBay or um, what's the other one? Depop if you get tired of it. And you know, you can love it while you have it and then you can get rid of it when you no longer want it in a sustainable way. That's all my thanks for this thrift haul thank you so much for watching if you liked it like i said please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe i try to do videos around sustainable fashion and conscious consumerism i like talking about the environment and also alternative ethical business models like fair trade um, and if you want to learn more about any of those topics you can always feel free to check out my blog and yeah i really enjoyed this video uh, it was fun i've always wanted to do one so yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye